Good morning, good afternoon and good evening everyone. I have mentioned that my next video will be tutorial of flashing custom ROM on Redmi Note 9. I would like to inform you that if you having Redmi Note 9, you want to flash a custom ROM, then your set must be on MIUI stock ROM 12.0.4 or lower than 12.0.4 like uh, i downgrade my set from 12.0.6 back to 12.0.3 the custom rom not booting on the latest uh, miui version that is 12.0.6 so if you want to flash custom rom on your redmi note 9 you must be on miui version either 12.0.4 or 12.0.3 i will leave the link in my video description of that tutorial video how to downgrade redmi note 9 global variant from latest version miui to the miui version 12.0.3 now if you want to flash custom rom then you need to uh, take all the risk because this flashing method or these flashing things is little bit risky now one more thing your set bootloader must be unlocked if you want to flash uh, custom rom if you want to downgrade your set from miui version to lower miui version the bootloader must be unlocked if you don't know how to do that i will leave the link of that tutorial video in my video description watch that video unlock the bootloader downgrade your uh, redmi note 9 to miui version 12.0.3 then you can apply these steps to get the custom rom on your xiaomi redmi note 9 if you are new on my channel do not forget to subscribe it tap or click the bell icon stay connected with me thank you so much first come to the computer screen let me show you what we have to download first in case if you are booting your set into fast boot mode and windows asking for the drivers then i will provide the link of the website you can simply download the media track drivers and install it on the on your windows follow the guide you will get the driver on your windows and that is only in case if the windows ask for the drivers i have windows 10 of 2019 edition and my windows is not asking the MediaTek drivers as i have already installed the mi flash 2017 software on my windows the release date is 9 fab 2021 download this rom by clicking here on download first the other side will get open then click download anyway the rom will get start downloading you need to select and you must select the arm64 then the android version must be 10 select the 10 and go for the pico either to nano or pico then click this red circle and soon you will see the downloading will get start as i just uh, mentioned the line age uh, custom rom than the google application and uh, rest uh, few files are this vb meta and redmi 9 custom recovery that is the new twrp recovery both files will be in one zip format after downloading it you need to unzip when you unzip it you are gonna see these two files and platform tools minimal adb so first of all extract the minimal adb fast boot here then extract platform tools here then copy both files that is uh, custom recovery and vb meta from here and paste it to the extracted platform tools folder now go back open minimal adb extracted folder copy cmd here file from this folder and go back open the extracted platform tools folder and paste that uh, cmd file here now uh, click or right click on the cmd here and left click on run as administrator click yes on next window the command window will get open one more thing that uh, 
I will provide these commands in my video description. You can simply copy all the commands from the description and paste it to the command when we are trying to flash custom recovery. Now moving towards my mobile phone. You must have the battery charge around 50%. And then go to settings and if you have turn on the password security lock must turn it off must turn it off then go back and uh, sync your me account in case if you are using it and then remove it same way go to the account sync and sync your google account then remove it and one more important thing is that save all your gallery data i mean to say all your important data because this procedure will format everything if you have done all these things that i just mentioned then the power of the device just press the power up key and then tap on reboot tap on reboot and press the and press and hold the volume down key until the fast boot screen appears on your mobile phone here we go now it is time to connect the cable with mobile phone and must check the other side of this cable must be connected with windows after connecting the cable with windows or with computer the windows will give you a sound which means that the set is connected now now come back to the computer screen and this is the command window that we need to type few commands and first command is to check the set is properly connected or not fast boot space devices enter and yes we got the numbers and set is connected in fast boot mode go to my video description and uh, copy first command that is the fast boot dis uh, disable variety etc etc copy this first command from here and go back to the command window then press ctrl v now press enter first flashing done and the it's time to flash the custom recovery the second command copy the second command from the video description then come back to the command window and press ctrl v yes you gonna see the command is on the command window and press enter key the flashing will get started and it will be done just in a few seconds now we need to reboot the redmi note 9 into custom recovery for that type the command f a s t b double o t fast boot reboot now press enter as soon the set restart press and hold the volume up key do not release the key until you see a pedal lock then you can release the key now wait let the set boot into custom recovery here we go i will turn off this uh, command window and soon we will see the internal storage on my computer screen and you will also see the internal storage of the redmi note 9 on the computer screen double click the internal storage you must see all the files and folders very nice now moving towards my mobile phone before copying the custom rom or before flashing we need to do one step and that is must to do what is that first disconnect the cable from the mobile phone then tap via wipe system partition then go to the format data and uh, type y e s tap here okay done now go back go back to the main screen ta tap on reboot and tap recovery just wait let us uh, set boot into custom recovery once again here we go now connect the cable once again with the mobile phone and soon you will see internal storage on the windows screen double click on it and you must see the twrp folder now come back to the downloaded folder copy the line h 17.1 rom from here and uh, the google application copy both files from here and paste it to the internal storage of uh, the mobile phone right we got the both files on the internal storage we are done uh, from the computer disconnect the cable first from mobile phone tap first here and tap on the third tab 
just check the screen time out uh, must be around 300 set it on 300 go back to the main screen now tap on wipe system partition then tap on advanced wipe select the first partition that is delvic then second is data leaf internal storage and the cache only these partition need to be select then swipe to start wiping then go back to the main screen and uh, tap on install firmware or patches then select the custom rom first by tapping on it and then swipe to start flushing it will take a little bit time just wait Right, the first part of flashing custom ROM done. Now tap on back and this time you need to select the Google application. Tap on it and swipe to start flashing. It will take also a little bit time. Just wait for it. We are done uh, with the custom ROM flashing and now simply tap on reboot system. The set will get reboot and it will start booting into custom ROM that is 9H17.21 on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9. Here we go. First boot complete, let me complete my setup screen now. Finally, finally we got the custom ROM on the Redmi Note 9. Going to about phone of my Redmi mobile phone. Yes, tap on it. Android 10, the Lineage operating system and uh, one more thing that uh, you must see is that Beast Band must have the numbers uh, right. Finally, we got the custom ROM flashed perfectly. All the things are uh, working perfectly on this ROM. I would advise you if you want uh, custom ROM then you can flash this one and check it and i hope that you're gonna like it if you got helped by this video do not forget to like this video and also subscribe my channel thank you so much take a good care of yourself goodbye